There it is. Yes. There it is. All right. Mary Wilson of the Supremes is here. Uh, welcome. Hi. We're so excited to have you Thank here. Thank you so much. And yes. uh, we're going to talk all about the Supremes in a moment. Uh, you're going to be doing some Supreme songs, but you're performing in L.A. It's rare to have you performing in yes. L.A. at the Catalina Jazz Club. I'm only doing one Supreme song. Okay. And I tell you why. Because, you know, like I'm, what, 74 and a half years old, right? Yeah. And so for all, most of those years, I was doing oohs and ahs and baby, baby, babies, you know. Yeah. And uh, was about five years ago I decided well you know what let me see what to, to do what I really feel I do what best ballads mm -hmm. and so I put together this show produced the whole thing and filmed it taped it in San Francisco and then it went so well I'm, I've been doing it ever since so I'm bringing it to Los Angeles you're going now. to Catalina Jazz Club Catalina on, Jazz Sunset. on Sunset for Friday and Saturday and I'll be doing my, my, my little ballads you know and I love it because as a Supreme I only did one ballad in the show and you what know. was the ballad? Can't take my eyes off of you. Uh -huh. And you know what? I sang it with one of my favorite friends, uh, Eddie Kendricks, in The Temptations. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so now that you singer. started dipping Ooh. in there, we're going to have to go there, Mary. <laughs> I, I mean, you started off, you know, young girls. At what point did you know you made it? Oh, gee, it took us a long time. We were called the No Hit Supremes mm -hmm. for a long, long time. And I think we were trying to get a hit record in 1964, our first million selling record, which was Where Did Our Love Go, came out. Mm -hmm. And that's really when we became very world famous. Uh, but it, you know what? It was on the Ed Sullivan Show when we really, really, you know, felt we were doing it. Because everyone watched the Ed Sullivan Show. Of course, the Beatles and, and it, you guys. I mean, it was just and so great. And is it true that when you went out on tour at first, you were with a lot of the other Motown acts, a lot of people didn't know who you were, and then yeah. it just popped? Oh, sure. I mean, we went out with the Motown Review, it's, it was called. We had Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, uh, The Miracles, The Four Tops, The Temptations, The Martha and the Vandellas. Wow. I mean, it was so like, what was the, what was, yeah. the what, was there a party off stage? What was it like no, when you guys part, weren't performing? The, the Come on. Part, the party, no, the party for us was always uh, off stage, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, the audience, they saw this all. We were like, every every move was together. You know what I mean? You did right. everything together. But backstage, you know, we played cards, all those kind of crazy so things. So you're looking at this footage, and I see all you together. Do you yeah. still talk? Do you talk to Diana Ross? Like, what's the relationship like? Because you guys went through so much together. Well, unfortunately, you know, Florence passed yes. right. in 1976 mm -hmm. at the early age of 32. Uh, which was really devastating for, for me uh, and, and lots of fans. But Diane and I speak sometimes, not a lot. You know, we, we, we're both like over, well, I won't tell her age, but I'm here, I'm 75. Yeah. So, you, you know what I mean? Good. You yeah. know, but I feel great. You know, that's the most important. But I do, we do occasionally, yes. And there was a moment I know at Motown the Musical where the two of you came together to see that show, oh, which was such a great show that came to LA. We got to see wonderful. it here, too. And there's a nice picture of you guys and Barry Gordy, of course, the founder of Motown. But you know, the other thing is um, Otis Williams of The Temptations has a, a Broadway show. I mean, it's going to Broadway. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Oh, all about oh, the, the temptation. It, it opened up here and people yes, were raving I was, about it. I was there. It was great. So it's that's great. wonderful. So now I'm waiting for maybe there will be a Supreme uh, show. I, yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Now, Listening. <laughs> <laughs> they should be. Now, well, one burning question I have. You made so many great hits and we're turning around. I feel like I'm going to turn I around. Know. And I, the fourth I, thing I, is swiveling. I'm, 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 Homer, I'm, I'm, Alex. I'm like, hey. You're, you're doing a dance. You know those hula hoop things? You know I'm doing that here in this show. You didn't tell me about that. Well, you have so many great hits. First of all, I want to talk about oh. those shoes, honey. Those shoes oh. are great. And see, had I known you had those shoes on, I wouldn't have worn my boots. But you know, in New York, it's cold. It's cold someplace, right? You're it's even cold here in L.A. But anyway, there you go. No, you're so. fashion royalty, so that's a compliment. <laughs> but you know, you did something pretty significant. Uh, we're talking about money. And uh, did you make money over the years? And then you initiated the Music Moderni Modernization Act with it's hard to you say know, President yeah. Trump. But helping you know artists make money that didn't get the royalties they deserved. I've been very fortunate to have done a lot of work on on uh, for for the artist and the modernization act is one that we have worked on for years now whenever our music is being played uh, digitally on uh, TV radio wherever we get paid prior to that 1972 any artist never got play, paid it's when so their music sad. was played on the radio but artists after 1972 they they were play, they were paid so we did get that passed and a lot of people worked on it and thank God for all the people who who did work we, on it we know how hard yes. it is to get anything done in Hollywood I mean in Washington yeah, uh, and right. so this is something that actually both parties came together on the president yes. signed it and he now signed, it is you know law, you know what he, si he signed it the same day that our friend Kanye what 
Lord was, was on. Oh, it was yeah. signed the same day, but you didn't hear about that. Yeah, well. But anyway, <laughs> there are lots of people who are very happy that, why. you know, that we are now being paid. And well, so I'm very thrilled well. about that. So, you know, but I, I want you to know that all of my friends are coming out to see me at Catalina's. I, right. I, I got to bring that up because it's, yeah. so, it's for me, it's the first time I've worked here in years. Well, you have six grandchildren here, and I hope you take them. Uh, well, no, they don't want to see Grandma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait, we can Grandma, see you're just Grandma for again, us. Uh, oh, but I have, a, I have to tell you also. Yes. I'm writing my third book now, wow. and and I'm so happy she'll be out next year for the Supremes' 60th anniversary. Well, that's Supremes great. Fashion, that's the new book coming out. You have two books about your life with the Supremes, but the Supremes Fashion is the new one. Yes. And you can see you this week in January 4th and 5th at the Catalina Jazz Club. Thank you. Right. Thank you for all can the you, joy. Can you just do something? Can we so stand up? I can't do this. Stand well, up. You stand you, up. You said you could do sick. Oh, no. Oh. Stand up. Stand up. Well, that's okay. Come on. Come on. Stop in the name. She sings in the same key. Now, I don't sing in that key. <laughs> break my heart. Think it over. That was my part. <laughs> I don't want to get you sick. I love that's you. I love you. He got a, he has yeah. a bass voice. I hear it. Take it Just bow. over. <laughs> bow. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you're such a treat. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to touch you now. Okay. <laughs>